Hi everyone, I'm Jesse Jane from lilyshop.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make glittery table numbers for a wedding. So you need glitter paper, scissors, ribbon, a ruler, pencil, and a glue gun. And let's get started. So to start on the glitter table numbers, you're going to need one piece of glitter paper. And you can get these at craft stores. They come in lots of different colors. Here's a brown one, pink, white, black, anything. And we're going to get two table tents out of one piece of paper. So turn your paper over. And I already measured um, exactly in half. And with the ruler, I drew a line. And then again, so you're going to measure in the middle where it scores. So this is going to be where we cut it in half, and this is going to be where it scores. So I already pre-measured, and I'm just going to draw my line across so I know where to score. And first, I'm going to cut out, cut the paper in half for two table tents. You can use regular scissors for this. It's really thick paper, so I like it because it sits straight on a table. There you go. So this is two table tents. And now on this line in the middle is where I'm going to score it. So take your razor blade. And you don't want to cut all the way through. So you want to gently, use a ruler, gently score the center. If it's not enough, you can always come back and do it again. Just don't cut through it. Otherwise, it won't bend. So I have a crease. I'm going to do it one more time. Get a deeper score. You should probably peel that sticker off too. There you go. Okay, so there's your table tent. And I'll teach you how to finish it. You're going to put ribbon on the bottom. Because if you just left it like this, it would go like that. So before we put the ribbon on the bottom, we're gonna put our number. So using another piece of glitter paper, I'm using brown so there's a contrast. All I did was take a stencil, turn the paper over, and I traced the stencils onto the paper. And make sure that you trace them backwards because we're cutting it backwards. So if you trace it right side up, your number is gonna be backwards on the glitter paper. So turn them over, and with a pencil, you're just going to trace around the numbers and get them really close to the sheet to save space. Trace around. And you'll cut them all out. And you want to cut as straight as possible so you get a good clean edge on the numbers. Some people make these glitter numbers with actual glitter and just glue. Um, what I like about this glitter paper is it already comes glittered, obviously, and it's thick, and the glitter doesn't flake off everywhere. When you use your own glitter, it's always all over the place. So I trace my numbers, and all I would do after this is cut them out. So I have a pile already here of cut numbers that I'm going to show you. I'm going to put one of the numbers onto the table tent. So to do this, you can't use glue. When you use glue on the back of this glitter paper, it curls up and it doesn't look good. So I have right here double-sided tape. This is foam tape, so the number sticks out a little bit from the cardstock. And I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to use two pieces peel off the backer. This couldn't be more simple. And you're going to stick it to the center of the table tent. Oops, get it right in the center. Just press down. All right, so there it is. Now I'm going to finish it off so it stands straight and doesn't do that. So I have ribbon. I'm using some champagne colored ribbon that goes with it. So all I would do is figure out how close I want it. Don't do it too close because it won't stand. Don't do it too wide. You kind of want to find a happy medium. 
On my website, I give exact dimensions for both these table tents and the ribbon you should cut. So if you want that, you can go over to the website and see it. So I would measure and cut. Again, I have a piece already done. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the inside of the table tent. Another piece of ribbon on the other side. They're both hot glued in the center. I'm just going to flatten it so they, so they get cooled off. All right, now it's stuck. And now it stays completely open and doesn't fall apart. What did that take? Three minutes. Super easy. You could probably get all your numbers out of one sheet if you have 12 tables. Um, and again, if you want the template and the exact directions for this, go to lilyshop.com and download everything from my website. Um, hope to see you next time. Thanks again.